What's up, Aquarius? Hey, Aqua. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Y'all know um, Carter is an Aquarius as well. So I'm already making some plans for that little boy. Um, he'll be the big 11 this year. But I felt bad I didn't tell you guys happy birthday until the end of your last reading. So happy birthday, Aquarius. I hope you guys turn up. I hope you guys have an amazing birthday season. Send you guys lots of birthday love. XOXO. I can't believe it's already February in the new year. Like, I swear, time is flying by, y'all. Seriously. Um, but let's hop into your reading, Aquarius. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun Rising, also Venus. Excuse me. Keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you aquas out there. So please do only take what resonates and never force it to fit your situation. Alrighty. If you guys want additional messages, you can always check your moon, rising, or Venus sign. Alrighty, guys. Um, really quick, Aquarius, before we hop in, just two quick announcements. Um, I finally put up my wedding website. Um, so definitely check it out, Aquarius. I would love for you guys to show your girls some love and support. Um, all the links are below. And then my second announcement is my tarot class. It starts on the 9th, so the last day to register will be the 8th, okay? Um, I don't think I'm going to make any changes to the dates or anything. As of right now, everything is set in stone. So if you guys are wanting to be a part of the class, all that information will be pinned in the comments below for you guys to join, all right? Um, let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with my Aquarius, my Aquas. Aquarius, someone rising, also please. Spirit, please guide me through this reading for Aquarius so they need to know and hear when it comes to their love and life. All right, let's see. Aquarius. We have energy, vampire. I won't give you much, but I need your energy. Hmm. So, are you guys messing with an energy, vampire? Snatching lives and energy. Aquarius, we have pick up your feelings. The number you have reached is not available. Please don't leave a message. I should have said, please don't leave a motherfucking message. <laughs> so I feel like you guys are tired of somebody. Somebody is an energy vampire. We have mysterious. All right, so it says, I can't figure you out. That turns me on. So I feel like um, somebody is turned on by the fact that you are ignoring them or blocking them out. But I feel like this person, I don't know, their energy is coming off. This is coming off kind of weird to me. I don't know why, but let's see. Aquarius. We have fantasy. You're not mine, I'm not yours, but I wish you were. Yeah, I don't even feel like you guys are in a relationship. I don't feel like it got that far. I don't feel like you guys are in a relationship. But I feel like whoever this is, they're draining. And I feel like you're losing interest. They're draining and you're losing interest. Y'all are not together. Now, for some of you guys, somebody's in a toxic love situation and they're messing around with you. Okay. But I feel like now with the wishy-washy card, I feel like you just, you're changing your mind about this person. And I feel like they're calling you, but, because we have, yeah, I'm calling, but I feel like you want more than a fling. I feel like you want more than a hookup. I feel like you're just, like, not really interested in it. In interested in it anymore. That's why I feel like with the fantasy card it says, you're not mine, I'm not yours. But I wish you were. So I feel like maybe somebody wishes that they were yours. You guys were together. But I feel like you guys are just, you're losing interest. And you feel like they're an energy vampire. I feel like whatever situation they got on, going on with somebody else, I feel like it's toxic. And I feel like it's low vibrational. And it brings you down. And I feel like they come to you with all their problems. And we have confidence. If I were you, I would want me too. And I feel like you're very confident. And I feel like you know this person wants you. But I feel like just their energy and what they got going on, I feel like you're just, you're not interested in it anymore, or them anymore. So let's see what's going on, Aquarius. All right, Spirit, please allow me for this reading for Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? We have the nine of cups reverse. I told you you're losing interest. You're just like mm -mm. four of wands. 
Yeah, the seven of swords. Yeah, see, somebody is, like, dealing with somebody in a relationship, live with somebody, and I feel like you're losing interest, and you're like, I'm tired of you sneaking over here to me. Because, see, the houses look different. Some of you guys can also, like, somebody can live in an apartment or a building or a loft or something like that, and I feel like you could be around a residential area, or you live somewhere where it's really sunny and nice, like California, Florida, um... I don't know. Those two just came to mind, so we're going to stop there. But you can live somewhere very nice and, like, very sunny in a very nice neighborhood. But um, the houses are different. And there's two females here, and they both look different. They got different outfits on, everything. So everything about them is different in this picture with this four of wands here. For some of you guys, you guys can all be friends. And that can be why, because they look like they know each other. Maybe you know of them. But you're tired of this person sneaking off to you. You know, like coming to be with you because you are, you know, they got a situation. Okay. Um, yeah, we have the four of cups. So it's interesting because this person has their headphones and they're ignoring or blocking this person out. But the cup was full here on this four of cups. So I feel like whoever this is, they really do like you though, Chris. They really going to fuck with you. I feel like you're the one, like I said, that's not interested. You're the one that is just like ignoring them because you maybe you just know what they're all about. And I feel like. For some reason, I feel like you guys may have wanted this at some point in time, Aquarius. But I feel like now you're just like, mm -mm. if it has to be like this, then I don't want it. Yeah, Six of Cups. Some of you guys known each other since childhood or you guys grew up together, lived in the same neighborhood. Or all of you guys know of each other is what I'm getting. All right. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. So contemplating, thinking. Yeah, to the Seven of Swords prominent. I feel like you guys are just like, mm -mm, no, like I like if it has to be this way, then I don't want it at all. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys are like, I'd rather be single. Some of you guys, they have a baby with somebody. Or somebody could be pregnant. All right, Libra, Taurus. But then we have, yeah, but we have the Death card and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, and I feel like Three of Pentacles, you're like, I don't want it to be like that. I feel like you already know their situation with the other person and what they're going through. And you may have just, you know, maybe you're thinking like, damn, if they're, put, if they, if they're putting that person through all that, then... I can only imagine what they're going to do to me and put me through or what we'll go through. So maybe you guys are having like a realization like, mm -mm, no, I don't want this. And I feel like this person is blowing up your phone, trying to call you, trying to get with you or trying to hook up with you. And some of you guys are just not like, you don't want it. You guys are like, no, I don't have time. you guys are not interested so let's see why the nine of cups is in reverse why is the nine of cups in reverse yep two of wands in reverse you don't want this anymore you feel like it's not going anywhere and maybe this person has got too comfortable with the situation and you're trying to, I wouldn't say make it uncomfortable for them, but you're just like, mm -mm. let me make it clear. Like, I don't see it's going anywhere. I don't see this going anywhere. Or maybe you're just not ready to move forward in this situation. You don't, I don't know. I just keep hearing that you don't want it like this or you don't want it to be this way. That's what I keep hearing and that's why I keep repeating it. Let me see. We have the Ten of Wands reverse. Yeah, you feel like you need to let this go. You feel like this situation is just like too much to deal with. It's just too much weight on your shoulder. Like, it's just, you feel stressed in the situation. So, you just may feel like it's not worth it. It's time to move on. The chariot is here. Yeah, it could be a cancer. But this is you definitely, you know, charging forward. Just, like, moving on, moving forward, headed in a new direction. You and this person could be clashing or getting into it. But you're just like, mm-mm. I'm over it. Let's see what this is. Judging and reversing the Knight of Cups. Some of you guys just feel stuck, like, you just feel, like, spiritually, like, why am I in this place? Why am I dealing with this person? You know, there could be some guilt or some shame here. You could be like, why am I going through this? Like, why did I even give in to this person? Why did I let this happen? That's how some of you guys can be feeling right now. Because maybe you're just not that type of person or you normally wouldn't do something like that. But now it's like you gave into it and I feel like you're just like, it's not, it wasn't even worth it. Um, let me see why is the four of wands here. Yep, see, king of pentacles in reverse. Mm. Yep, told you. So they're having family problems, issues. They're unhappy in their relationship. And that's how they're running to you. But I feel like you guys could have been friends or maybe you guys like met each other and you didn't know everything. But I feel like somebody is running to you with their problems and issues. 
and it looks like they are unhappy in the relationship and they're trying to manifest something with you but mm -hmm. i feel like you kind of also think that whatever they're going through that can happen to you guys or it's just maybe you're hearing them complain or how they're unhappy and stuff like that and i just feel like it's it's like you're losing interest in this person even more yeah the fool is in reverse she thought this person is immature foolish irresponsible yeah wow the queen of pentacles reverse so i feel like you may feel like both of them are you may be like whoever they're with or whatever they got going on you may be like mm, they just it's a bad situation you may feel like yeah they're they're meant for each other because they kind of got the same energy or it's kind of like you feel like oh well they dumb or stupid for allowing that to happen or being with them or you know like maybe you guys are laying up with this person and they're telling you all the stuff they did and you couldn't be like damn well she's stupid enough to you know, that's her stupid ass. Why would she be with you if you did all this and this and that? But then I feel like you're also thinking like, damn, like, so what does that make me? Not saying you're stupid or crazy, but I'm saying if you think about it, it's just like you're just kind of like, okay, so how does that make me look or sound to deal with this situation or be in this situation? All right, let's go into the Queen of Pentacles universe. I feel like this person that they're dealing with, they need or want some attention from this person that they're not getting, you know, because they're, you know, coming towards you. And let's see why the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Hey, the Pentacles. Mm, yeah, they have a child together for some of you guys. And they could be tied to this person financially. Or this person needs them. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reverse? The lovers. Six of Swords. The Fool. Mm. But, yeah, I feel like you should break it off, Aquarius, because I feel like whoever they're dealing with, could be a Gemini, it doesn't have to be. Um, they can be dealing with a Virgo towards Capricorn as well, but whoever this is, they want to work it out with them. Well, they're, like, whoever this is, like, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse wants to work it out with the King of Pentacles in reverse. They're still in love with this person. They want to move forward and they want to get out of this, you know, whatever they're going through. They're hoping that there's going to be a new beginning, something's going to change or happen between them, um, and they're not giving up. So, and I don't see this person taking action either to change the situation. So, I'm just going to say that. All right. So, let's see. Because if not, they're just going to keep sneaking with you and sneaking to be with you. And, yeah. Why well, is the Seven of Swords here? Go to the Seven of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. And they're not going to come in with an offer. This is somebody playing the field, playing around, not committing okay they're not doing shit yeah and i feel like you're tired of them juggling you i feel like you're tired of the situation and you feel like they just need to focus on whatever they got with that other person for right now yeah queen of cups mm -hmm. i love this because you guys love yourself aquarius and you're decide you're like i know better there could be a cancer pisces scorpio involved but this is you guys like mm -mm. i gotta think about me i gotta put love into me i gotta focus on me i gotta worry about me in the end and it, you may have love and feelings for this person but i feel like you love yourself more Aquarius, and you're tired of the situation and you're tired of being juggled in the situation you're tired of showing and giving love and support to this person and like it's just the situation like i don't feel like nothing's changed or a relationship i don't see nothing there and then we got the king of wands reverse okay somebody that's bossy and demanding you know somebody that wants to play around be a player you know stuff like that so yeah mm -mm. tell them Tell them you charge $150 an hour, okay? Shoot, $150 every 30 minutes. You don't have time because it's like for you, whoever this is, it's like they run to you and complain about everything that's going on in their other relationship. And I feel like for some of you guys, they, they do it thinking that it's cute, that you'll give me and like, oh, I treat you better, babe, and I love you better than her and all that stuff. It's just a, I'm not going to say it's a game, but it, I feel like it is, or kind of like a setup. I feel like it's not worth it, in my opinion. Just and even with the cards, it's not worth it. Why is the four of cups here? Yeah. Moving on. Okay. See, look, uh, the five of pentacles in verse. This is someone asking or needing help. Okay. They're going through something or in a difficult situation. And they're coming to you because they want you to help them get out of the situation. But I see with the four of cups, you're kind of getting bored in the situation. And you're ignoring them at this point. And I feel like at one point in time, you wanted to move forward with them. But now you just don't anymore. Yeah, the queen of wands. You're like, mm -mm, I'm better than this bullshit. So, yes. Love the confidence. Love it. You wear it well. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You want a real relationship, a real commitment, a real offer. Ace of Pentacles. And you will get that. So, you're going to just move on from this person. You lost interest and you're no longer wanting their offer or going to take their offer anymore. 
I feel like for some of you guys, it may affect the relationship because you guys are cool at one point, you know, or like close friends or whatever, but is this, you just don't want it anymore. Why are the six of cups here? The seven of wands. Yeah. You just feel like the situation, the situation is just too challenging and you feel like you shouldn't have to fight and do all that or, you know, just like deal with every, whatever you're dealing with, um, when it comes to this person. You have the Ace of Swords reverse. I feel like you also feel like they're not being 100% with you. Like, they're not being honest about a lot of things, okay? I feel like there's a lot of miscommunication or I feel like a lot of things are unclear or they have been left unsaid and you're just like, you're starting to change your mind about the person, the situation, and how you're feeling. You have the High Priestess in reverse. Yeah. I feel like your intuition was blocked. I feel like... um Another thing that was bothering you is that they wanted to keep this a secret. You know, they wanted this to be like a secret relationship. And I feel like you didn't want to deal with that. They could have been also like lashing out at their partner, getting into it with whoever this was. And I feel like maybe you didn't see it at first, but now you're starting to see like, you're starting to see like certain things like... So, for example, say if they were on the phone with that person and they're like, oh, like, fuck you, B, you know, like, you get on my nerves, like, da da da. And it is just like, I just feel like the more you're around them and the more you see with them or the more that they do, it's like red flags. And you're also just like, dang, so, like, what would it be like if we were together? That's just what I get, Aquarius. Okay? And I feel like for some of you guys, you don't want to be no, you don't want to be the secret lover. All right? You're like, mm -mm. I don't want to be the secret lover. Let's see. Yeah, three of cups. I see you guys starting to date other people, or you will be dating other people very soon. Yeah, six of pentacles. There's somebody else that's going to come in that's going to be very generous. Generous, Sorry, it's going to be an equal give and take, a more balanced relationship or situation. Um, for some of you guys, that's how they started off as friends, and then you guys start messing around. They were very nice and generous at first, but then I feel like their problems, I'm not going to say their problems became your problems, but I feel like they just come with too many problems, too many issues, too much baggage. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Going to the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords reverse. So I don't see you guys, you know, in this contempl contemplation energy for too long. Yeah, you're just going to let go. Okay, you're going to be like, mm-mm. Look, see, Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're not going to overthink it. Yeah, the Empress. <laughs> you're just like, mm-mm. I'm better than this. It's kind of like you're like, do you know who I am? Like, mm-mm. This is you just feeling really good about yourself, feeling abundant. Some of you guys are really good moms. Some of you guys, you know, are business owners or you have a like really good job. You have a lot going for yourself because you have the nine of pentacles. And I feel like you guys are just in the energy of like, like, this is weighing me down. This is stopping me. This is blocking me. And I can be further ahead or this is just in my way. Like, I have so many other things to do than to be caught up in this energy, in this type of relationship. Nine of pentacles. Yeah. The death card is in reverse. Mm-hmm. This person is not going to let go easy, okay? They don't want it to end, but I feel like you're going to be kind of glad about things ending. You know, it's like you'd rather be single than to be caught up in this situation. Yeah, see? You'd rather be single than to be caught up in this situation and be the sneaky link or be the person that they're coming to sneak and be with and have sex with and deal with. Yeah, the tower. You want more than just sex and all this shadiness and deception and all this type of bullshit. So I definitely see that you are going to... Um, let this go. I definitely see you're going to let this go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aquarius said, not in their birthday season. Aquarius said, we don't got time. All right, let's see. Let's see. Trust issues. This card keeps coming out. So there may be some trust issues. Maybe you just don't trust this person. We have catfish. Yeah, you feel like this person is a fake, phony, and a fraud. All right, so someone is catfishing you. They are not who they say they are. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I feel like you're just like, mm-mm. I um, got time for that. Let's see businessman a boss will take care of you only wants a woman okay attracted to them so let me see the nine of wands yeah and i feel like you guys kind of feel like 
that's what you're battling. Like, you feel like you're never going to meet that boss type or the person that you want dealing with something low vibrational like this. Uh -huh. You're looking for a forever love. This is the one. Let me see. You're looking for a forever love. Yeah, look, see, Ten of Swords. And I feel like you already know, Aquarius, you're not going to get it with this person. Some of you guys can already have, like, a businessman or a boss in your life. And you are, like, dealing with an ex or somebody that is not worth your time. And you're going to realize and be like, damn, I got a, a good-ass man or a good-ass woman. Like, why am I even messing around with this low vibrational ass person and energy we have allowing access okay so it says i am an open book ask me anything i have nothing to hide well yeah the high priestess i feel like you know all this person's secrets are there and i know i feel like you just know too much information on this person okay i feel like that's the problem they talk too damn much okay we have sympathy please forgive me i am sorry feeling remorseful pity sorrow trouble something they did so they're gonna want you to like you know forgive them and stuff like that or you know, if you cut them off, they're going to forgive me. I didn't think it was going to be like this. I didn't expect it to be that way. I'm sorry. You know, I never thought it was going to happen like that. Something like that. Because I see you guys cutting them off. Okay, so let's see. for Aquarius we have love this is a real love what is real love and then we have just flow relax you don't have to make any major decisions today just live and experience so let's see what this love card is about this is love so there is going to be a true love or a forever love that comes in let me see. Yeah, see? We have Swords in Reverse, the Ten of Cups. You're going to open your heart up to love. Or some of you guys are already... First, towards the end, I was getting Aquarius. Some of you guys are in a really good relationship, but have feelings for somebody in your past that you guys were still talking to or messing around with that you're cutting off for good now because of the you're realizing the love that you do have in your life and the family that you have with somebody. Um, and then for others of you, it's like once you let this go i see you open your heart up to love and you're going to attract this person because we have the nine of cups in reverse there unless this unless this is this person coming back as new but they have this attachment and all this other type of stuff so yeah just so yeah like i feel like for some of you guys you're going to meet people online date do your thing you know i feel like you're keeping your options open and i feel like you're just going to have fun you're not making any decisions and you're just going to relax and chill and date and see where it goes and you're going to meet somebody out of one of these people that you're meeting all right um now for some of you guys i don't know why i feel like you're going to meet them through an online chat but not like if you're online dating i feel like an online chat far as like with work or like say like you're chatting with somebody online i don't know something is just going to go like move forward after that or somebody's going to hit you up i don't know i'll never forget i remember one time i was on a chat and um I was on a chat and I was telling the person, like, like you know, I was like, oh, like, yeah, I'm fire intuition. They're like, oh, let me check y'all, blah, blah, blah. And so they end up, I guess, going to my page and, like, looking in my description box, whatever, my information. So they had got my email and they were like, oh, I remember we chatted earlier when you, have a, you were having a problem with so and so. Like, I was just, it was just like an internet thing. I was needing to fix something. So it was just, like, interesting to me, though, like, how, you know, they, like, went to my page and looked at my information. It is like nothing went from there, you know what I'm saying? But they were like, oh, you're like beautiful. I saw your page and stuff. It didn't come off as creepy to me because the person that I was chatting with was like super cool. And I can tell maybe they were like cool and stuff. And then like they showed me their page and information and stuff like that. It didn't get nowhere because they were like long distance and stuff. But like, you know, they would like hit me up sometimes. Like, hey, how your day going? Blah, blah, blah. You know, but I don't know. I feel like some of you guys are going to meet somebody like that too. All right. So let's see. We have number nine. Yep, it says, don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. And then I, this is forgiveness, three of swords in verse. Okay? So I don't really feel like we need to go into this card. I feel like it just explained itself. Yeah. 
This message is meant to assure you that the relationship you are anxious about can be healed. If the situation includes another person, your guardian angels are working with the guardian angels of the other others concerned in much the same way a mentor would. Hearts are being opened and harsh thoughts are being quieted. The opportunity for healing is being established. This is not the time to give up on love. Just as difficult as your connections with others can be, um, your relationships with yourself. Okay, so maybe it can be you guys, but I don't really feel like that. But it's just saying like sometimes, but like, you know, they say you are what you attract are when you do better or work on you, you get better and get somebody that's like more in your energy. Okay. So it says, if that's your challenge right now, don't give up on self-love either. If your past experiences have caused you to give up on love entirely, I would urge you to allow forgiveness to wash over you. You deserve all types of love in your life. Don't shut out the chance for it by telling yourself, I give up. Your angels love you. I love you. We will never, ever give up on you. Okay? So... Archangel Michael wants you to know that he's here. He's going to clear the way. All right. To bring in more self-love for you guys to release these negative thoughts about love and for forgiveness and healing so that you guys can attract more love or attract love into your life. Okay. But not just romantic love. All It's at all types of love. Okay. So that's really good. That's your reading, Aquarius. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. Stay dope. Enjoy your birthday season. And I'll see you guys in the next collective reading. Bye, Aqua.